when we're moving that club away into the takeaway, that first sort of checkpoint when the club is level with the ground, I'd love you to have the club face so the grooves are somewhere between vertical, as you can see there, and slightly turned in. When we get to the top of the goal sing, we'd really be looking for that club face matching the lead forearm. And you can see how the club face there is pretty close to that lead forearm. A lead wrist is pretty flat. Starting position to this golf ball. When we get to impact, the grip or the hand of the golf could be slightly higher. Impact shaft angle. So if I place that line on there, I've tried to get this alignment stick as close as I can to that. Now, when I make my backswing, even though I might have a fairly orthodox backswing, you can see how the hands, the arms and the club are much higher than that line. What we would tend to see from the elite golfers is yes, they'd be higher than that line at the top, but as they start down and they rotate their hips and their legs, the club tends to work to that line pretty early. When the lead arm gets about level with the ground, club is around about on that line. If we'd controlled the club face through the backswing, as we start down, we drop the golf club to that delivery club shaft angle, left arm horizontal, club face under control. How do we deliver the club? We just rotate through. As we're rotating through, we apply as much speed as we can. Alignment stick here, which is get it the same as my impact angle. So note it's not quite the same as my setup, but as I get to impact, my hands would raise up. So I can just rehearse up to the top, club face under control, and just returning my golf club underneath this alignment stick is really going to help me shallow it or lower it in that early downswing. The angle of my golf club isn't changing, so I'm not shallowing the golf club, I'm just lowering it to its impact angle, which allows me to turn through and hit that golf ball. Control the club face, I can rehearse lowering the golf club, lowering the golf club, and then as I've done that a couple of times, I can just go ahead and feel that change in angle on the way down, that lowering of the golf club to allow me to turn through as I just demonstrated in that video.